a slow one No, I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement, I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement it's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode 54, your Thursday night main event. And we are wasting no time getting to the action tonight as the Prince Finn Balor is set for a one-on-one -on -one contest with a man he's got a score to settle with, the Scottish Psychopath, Drew McIntyre. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring accompanied by a kid from Bray County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! And coming up later tonight on your Thursday night edition of Main Event, the Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line. Ricochet continuing to be a defending champion as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Wesley, the man he teamed up with last week, will oppose him on the other side of the ring later on tonight. Plus, the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament continues. Another first-round matchup. Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville meet Io Shirai and Zia Lee. The winners of that match are going to move on to fight the winners of this past Monday night's match against Bayley and Dakota Kai versus Ember Moon and Shotzi. Of course, damage control coming out the victory on that night. The Women's Tag Team Championship continues. Tournament continues later on in this telecast. But Finn Balor set for this matchup against Drew McIntyre tonight, and you notice a kid accompanying Finn Balor down to the ring. Seemingly a partnership between those two men. After recently here on main event, Finn Balor took on the debuting a kid one on one, and respect was shown after the contest. Not something we see out of Finn Balor these days, extending the hand to a kid and seemingly got himself some backup around the squared circle these days. But Finn Balor, this is dating back to well over a month ago here on Universe Mode. A match on Monday Night Raw where Finn took on Drew McIntyre. And on that night, Finn Balor scored the victory over the Scottish Psychopath, but it wasn't without the help of the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, who had issue with Drew McIntyre at the time. This was in the lead-up to Extreme Rules. Sheamus causing a distraction, aiding Finn Balor at ringside. Drew McIntyre's eye getting taken off the ball, and Balor walked away with the victory that night on Monday Night Raw. So it's been some time since that matchup with Drew McIntyre and Finn Balor's past meet again. McIntyre is out to right the wrongs of that night on Monday Night Raw with this one-on-one -on -one affair versus Finn Balor. Will McIntyre get the job done or is Finn going to go 2-0 against the Scottish Psychopath? And his opponent from Air Scotland weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew. McIntyre looks laser focused here tonight. Not coming to the ring, welding that sword as he usually does. I think McIntyre is laser focused tonight for a number of reasons. We've talked about it in recent history. McIntyre has struggled throughout this year to really get those big time W's, to get the win where it matters. And most notably for Drew McIntyre, recently in the lead up to Judgment Day, of course McIntyre lost to Randy Orton in the WWE Championship Eliminator. So McIntyre's had a rocky road, a roller coaster ride for Drew these last number of months. And now meeting up with Finn Balor again, a matchup he knows did not go his way over a month ago. He's looking to right the wrong here tonight to kick us off on your Thursday night edition of Main Event. This is WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode 54. And you aren't going to find this kind of action in any other universe than right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Let's continue to grow the universe one show at a time. McIntyre bringing the fight to Finn Balor immediately off the get-go here. Belly to belly, sending Finn Balor over the top rope to the floor below. Drew McIntyre is fired up tonight, coming out with an objective to get that victory over the Prince. And last time, as we talked about, there was an appearance from the Celtic Warrior Sheamus that threw Drew McIntyre's eye off the ball. McIntyre may have defeated Sheamus and put him in his hindsight well over a month ago at Extreme Rules, but now McIntyre's got to keep his eye on A-Kid. A new partnership assumingly coming together between Balor and A-Kid again after their recent matchup on main event. Balor defeated A-Kid, which was his debut here in the main roster. 
former NXT United Kingdom competitor. And after the contest, Balor extending the hand to the young man. And seemingly from that, with now A-Kid joining Finn Balor in his corner tonight, a new partnership has emerged. Look at this, Balor coming from the top rope to drop the knee. McIntyre gets out of the way. So McIntyre's gonna have to keep his eyes on not only Finn, but A-Kid here tonight. I'm not sure what kind of partnership has aligned here. Is this some kind of partnership where Balor has promised to bring A-Kid to the promised land? Future championship opportunities get him in the spotlight more. I'm sure it's a little bit of everything. We're going to see it play out week after week. But right now, it's about the Prince and the Scottish Psychopath inside that squared circle. As we mentioned, Drew McIntyre's roller coaster ride throughout this year. He's failed in opportunities to become the WWE Champion, the Intercontinental Champion. On several occasions, McIntyre really turned things around back at Extreme Rules, which was on August the 7th. Against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus in that no holds barred match. McIntyre picked up the win on that night. And then the next time we saw McIntyre was in the midst, in the midst excuse me, of that WWE Championship Eliminator where he lost to Randy Orton on Monday Night Raw. So McIntyre back and forth with his momentum over the last number of months. And as we always talk about, it's about getting the W's inside of the squared circle to get those main events, to get those championship opportunities. Because McIntyre may be about to get the victory here. Balor gets the shoulder up. And it's not just about that, but it's about getting those wins to get you on the pay-per-view and get you that pay-per-view payday. Neither of these men were featured on this past week's Judgment Day pay-per-view this past Saturday night. A lot of that having to do with McIntyre falling out of contention in the WWE Championship Eliminator. And of course, Finn Balor previously was battling the former Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne for the Intercontinental Gold. That was also back at Extreme Rules. Balor lost that matchup, and now Balor's got to work his way back up in a contention for either a future championship opportunity or big-time main events. And that's what this matchup is really about tonight. For McIntyre, it's about getting that win back from over a month ago, but for both men, it really is all about momentum between Finn Balor and Drew McIntyre tonight. Balor into the cover here. McIntyre able to push off. And of course, still to come tonight, the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament will continue with our second first round matchup. It'll be Io Shirai teaming up with Zia Lee to take on Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville. The matchup that is going to be is McIntyre here. Look at this. Something we normally see out of a former enemy and former friend of McIntyre, the being the Celtic Warrior Sheamus at 10 beats of the boundary, and Finn Balor goes flying off the apron. McIntyre, any means necessary to get the job done tonight by the Scottish Psychopath as the brawl makes its way to the outside of the squared circle. And as the brawl continues also still to come tonight, the Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line in our main event. The one and only Ricochet hot off the heels of defending the gold against Chad Gable at Judgment Day. is going to defend the championship yet again against Wes Lee. And of course, it was last week here on main event where Wes Lee and Ricochet Picked up a tag team victory over Alpha Academy, and it was Wesley who pinned Otis in that tag team matchup. And through that performance, Wesley has earned himself a Cruiserweight Championship opportunity. Ricochet going to continue to be a defending champion here tonight on your Thursday night edition of the main event. McIntyre not able to put away Finn Balor just yet. You see McIntyre went uncharacteristic for the big man there. Big time splash off the top rope, crushing down on the spine of the Prince, but it was not enough to keep Finn Balor away just yet. McIntyre here gonna look to use his power to his advantage, sending Finn Balor for a ride. And of course, one of the big news and rumors going around right now in the WWE is where all these superstars are gonna end up. The big announcement at Judgment Day that the WWE brand extension is coming on Monday, October the 17th, the Raw, after our Survivor Series pay-per-view. Friday Night SmackDown coming back on the air, and the brands will be split, the roster will be split. A WWE Draft is coming! And where are these two men gonna line up? But Balor may just put away McIntyre, but McIntyre kick it out of the coup de gras there. And Balor's gotta be questioning, he just threw his best shot at the Scottish Psychopath, but McIntyre is still in this fight. Coup de gras now, McIntyre Feels the sense of urgency right now. It's now or never to get back in this contest against Balor. Referee getting in the way there. Might accidentally cost Drew McIntyre. 
Now Balor grabbing a hold of the big man again. McIntyre looking to struggle to build some momentum at the current moment as Finn Balor may have Drew McIntyre exactly where he wants him from bell to bell in this contest. What a missile drop kick. Balor wasted no time immediately into the cover on the bigger competitor and McIntyre still is in this fight. Oh, and McIntyre kick it up and a swinging neck breaker to the Prince. Finn Balor may have missed his window of opportunity to put Drew McIntyre away in this matchup. You see he's unloaded on McIntyre right now, trying to do anything he can to keep the bigger competitor down. McIntyre missed wildly with that shot. Now Balor sending McIntyre over the top rope. Drew is still in this, nice forearm. Balor's right there to cut him off again. Float over, DDT. McIntyre kipping up again, and what a big boot to Finn. They have turned the lights out of Finn Balor for good here tonight. McIntyre now, trying to build some momentum. We mentioned it a moment ago, but as the momentum continues to roll on for McIntyre in this contest, now we're never for the Scottish psychopath to put the Prince away. A great matchup to kick us off and what is going to be an amazing night of action inside the squared circle here on Thursday night main event and McIntyre dropping fit with the elbow. You see he's not going for the final blow yet. He's not searching for the Claymore right now. McIntyre knows that Finn Balor's been in the driver's seat the last number of minutes. McIntyre's got to do some damage to the Prince before he can try to knock his lights out for good and just squashes him in the corner right there. Even Balor on spaghetti legs and now McIntyre again with that forearm to the chest. Enough to knock the wind out of you for sure. Drew is just unloading and that's big time. Headbutt to Finn Maurer. Glasgow kiss not enough to keep Finn away. McIntyre throwing him one of his best shots but still hasn't looked for that future shock DDT yet. Still hasn't looked for that Claymore in this matchup. McIntyre, spine buster to Finn. Into the cover again, goes Drew McIntyre, and it's not enough yet. And what a singles contest between Drew McIntyre and Finn Balor to kick us off here tonight. Certainly up in the ante from their last collision on Monday Night Raw over a month ago. Balor is down. You see Balor was in the driver's seat for a number of minutes. Now Drew McIntyre has taken over the wheel. And then back up to the middle rope. Go for a dive, and he lands on the legs of Finn Bauer. Looked like Finn was trying to crawl out of the way there. McIntyre, luckily, was able to catch just enough to keep him down. McIntyre may have been looking for that future shock DDT, but Bauer able to counter. Bauer's got to stay on McIntyre here. As Drew McIntyre's up, he's coming behind. Grabbing a hold. Big time slam from McIntyre. And Balor may have just missed his window of opportunity again there to capitalize on a day's Drew. McIntyre went for that Glasgow kiss again. Wait a minute, Finn. Snap suplex. Able to get the big man up and over. Impressive strength from the Prince Finn Balor. Now McIntyre's down. Balor's going back up to the top. Coup de Gras for the second time in the matchup. Balor into the cover. And there's no getting up from that. One coup de grace, McIntyre is able to survive, but make it a dose, and it's not enough for Drew McIntyre to stay in this fight tonight. McIntyre, another disappointing loss. You gotta be wondering what the psyche of that man's gonna be. Only time will tell, but as for tonight's main event, the Prince Finn Balor back in the winning ways yet again. A victory over that man at ringside, a kid, a number of weeks ago, and now a victory over Drew McIntyre. What is going to be next for the Prince here on Thursday night's main event? Big time win for Finn Balor here tonight. Well, the action rolls on here on Main Event, and it is time to continue your Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament First Round Collision. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, 
from Shimong, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. So the bracket for this women's tag team championship tournament is as followed. This past week on Raw, Damage Control beating Ember Moon and Shotzi. Our matchup coming up right now, and then this coming Monday night on Raw, Naomi and Sasha Banks. Banks back in action for the first time since Backlash earlier this year against Gonzalez and Rhea Ripley, and then Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan versus The Way next week here on Main Event. But coming up right now, Sonya Deville, Shayna Baszler joining forces. Two women with MMA backgrounds going to be aligning themselves for this Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament, and they got a strong, strong field ahead of them. Io Shirai and Zaya Lee coming together. Two strikers from the land of the rising sun. It's going to be a very interesting combination of women in this matchup. Who's going to survive? And her partner from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler. We want to take you back to this past Monday night on Raw, where it's Ember Moon and Shotzi teaming up against Bailey and Dakota Kai, also known as Damage Control. And these four women absolutely tearing down the house at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Ember Moon and Shotzi giving it all they had. It's been a rocky few months, especially for Shotzi. But unfortunately for those two women, damage control, outlasting Shotzi and Ember Moon, and punching their ticket to the semifinals of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. And of course, the finals of this tournament will be taking place on Sunday night, October the 16th. Our next Universe Mode pay-per-view live from the TD Garden in Boston at Survivor Series. What a night that is going to be, already announced for that event. The WWE Championship is going to be on the line on the Rated R Superstar Edge defends against the Viper, Randy Orton. A long time rivalry, one more time they meet up for the WWE Championship. What a match that's going to be on October the 16th. But here come your challengers for Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville tonight. Zia Lee. Appearing here for the first time on the main roster, ready to make an impression alongside her partner from the land of the rising sun, Io Shirai. They're going to make a hell of a team, and this is a hell of a competitor. And from Chongqing, China, Zia Lee. Zia Lee, a lethal striker with her feet and with her hands. A very impressive competitor in NXT. Now here tonight on the main roster, continuing to join the fray of recent additions to the women's division from the main roster. We've seen Doe drop in Saray over the last few months, and Casey Catanzaro as well joining the main roster. Zia Lee, the newest addition to that list. Yoshirai certainly picked a hell of a competitor to be the yin and yang to her style. A striker is Zia Lee, a high flyer is Io Shirai. You got the best of both worlds in that tag team, but will it be enough to topple the MMA style, the ground and pound beatdown of Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville? We're going to find out in moments in this tag team affair right here on Main Event. And from Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai. The last time we saw Io Shirai was a couple of weeks back on main event as well. She went one-on-one -on -one with Candice LeRae. And it was on that night that Candice LeRae made her return to the WWE alongside Indy Hartwell in her corner. Candice was away for about two months with an injury. Came back with Indy in her corner and was able to topple Io Shirai on that night in an impressive victory. It was not about, not about, excuse me, a little bit of a distraction from Indy Hartwell in that match. I'm sure Io Shirai... Would love to run things back with Candice LeRae, but right here, right now, it's all about the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. That has got to be the number one focus for Io Shirai tonight. The road to Survivor Series continues before our very eyes. The WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament first round matchup. Zia Lee, Io Shirai versus Sonya Deville and Shayna Baszler. And the winners of this matchup will meet Bailey and Dakota Kai in a couple of weeks' time in the semifinals of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. And then, of course, whoever walks out of that is going to be on their way to Sunday night, October the 16th, 2022. At our next Universe Mode pay-per-view, the historic Survivor Series event. One of my favorite pay-per-views of the year. Cannot wait to see how that card comes together in the next number of weeks. Shayna Baszler in there with... Zia Lee right now. 
Let's see how Zia Lee's going to fare in her main roster debut. We'll talk about the pressure being applied for your main, main roster debut here tonight. Not only are you in here on main event with several former champion here in the WWE, but you're in the midst of a women's tag team championship tournament. It's a big opportunity, big time pressure for Zia Lee here tonight. We'll see how she fares, but Shayna Baszler heading to the top rope. Zaya's down, and Baszler, uncharacteristic here. Elbow from the top rope. Way too early in this contest. The objective may not have been to win the match there, but at least to get in the head of the debuting competitor. And I'm sure Shayna Baszler would love to pick apart Zaya Lee and keep Io Shirai out of this matchup. Io and Shayna have a lot of history dating back to NXT. Battling over the NXT Women's Championship. Shayna Baszler knows what EO is all about inside the square circle. If she can pick apart Zia Lee and really make this into a handicap match, you gotta imagine that would fare way in the favor of Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville. Zia Lee looking pretty good, trying to bounce back after an onslaught from Baszler in the opening moments of this contest. And now a tag made to Io Shirai. Little rivalry from NXT about to be renewed here. Not, a, not without a little bit of tag team action from Zia Lee and Io. And Io again, as we mentioned, has got to be fired up tonight. Her first contest since that loss against Candice LeRae a number of weeks ago here on Main Event. It may not be Candice and Indy Hartwell she's faring across from tonight, but it's someone she knows very well. And it's all about the opportunity to walk away with the Women's Tag Team Championships at the Survivor Series pay-per-view. Shayna's down, Io Shirai, springboard, moonsault. And Shayna, luckily for her, in the right place at the right time with that rope break as Io Shirai was going for the win early on. Io entered this matchup and really took things in control for her team and now tagging Zia Lee back into the fray. Another tag team maneuver here. Shirai and Lee looking good in this contest, Baszler Feeling the pressure, she's gonna tag out to Sonya Deville. Now we're back where we started in this Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament first round match. Maybe some fresh blood in there for Baszler and Deville will be what it's enough to get the momentum back in this contest. Sonya Deville, lethal striker inside of that ring. So is Zia Lee, so it's gonna be interesting to see who gets the upper hand here. You see they're both just going after shots and Sonya Deville Gets the big one there, and she tags out to Shayna Baszler. Interesting strategy for Baszler and Deville. Zia Lee went for that flying knee, but Baszler's right there to cut her off. Whipping her off and sending her over the top rope. Second time in this matchup that we've seen Zia Lee thrown over the top rope and takes that hard landing on the outside. Not gonna go well when you get into deep waters in this contest, and Baszler going for that triangle choke out there. You can't win the match on the outside, but damage can certainly be done. And hell, if she passes out, Zia Lee, it might be enough to get a count-out victory here. I mean, Baszler and DeVille, I think they're better than a count-out victory, but you know they don't care how they advance in the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. They just want to win this thing. Baszler's back into the ring. Referee's at a count of five right now. Shayna could absolutely be looking for the count-out here. Count of six. Well, Baszler went after Zia Lee. Zia Lee, a little bit faster than her opponent right now. And Baszler's just play, I think Baszler's playing mind games with Zia Lee. Outrunning her, submission on the outside. I think she's trying to crack the debuting superstar here tonight. Let the pressure amount to too much for her to handle. Nice shot by Zia to the back. Zia's been in here for a couple of minutes now. Took some offense from Shayna Baszler. Might be a good idea to tag out to Io Shirai. And it goes with that history between Baszler and Shirai. Io at least might have a couple more ideas on how to outlast the Queen of Spades in this contest. Zia Lee sending Shayna Baszler up. What is this? Oh, went for the snapmare. But Io Shirai fighting fire with fire. Pulling Shayna Baszler's legs off the apron. Letting her eat the floor. And I think that might have shook Shayna Baszler a little bit. Taking a moment to get back into the ring, and now Zaya's right there. As this Women's Tag Team Championship tournament continues, again, the winners of this matchup will fight Bailey and Dakota Kai in the coming weeks in the semifinals. But this coming Monday night on Raw, we will see Naomi.
teaming up with the returning Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has been out with an injury since the Backlash pay-per-view all the way back in April. Originally was a couple of broken ribs, turned out to be a little bit more. But Sasha Banks ready to go. She will be back this coming Monday night on Raw. Those two women are going to be in there. I guess the main roster debuting Raquel Gonzalez, former NXT Women's and Tag Team Champion. She's going to be teaming up with Rhea Ripley. Those two dominant women side by side. It's going to be a tough task for Naomi and Sasha Banks this coming Monday night. And of course, coming up next Thursday on Main Event, right here in that very ring, it's going to be Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan, who seemingly gained a mutual respect for each other after their matchup with Asuka a triple threat affair this past Saturday night at Judgment Day. They're going to be teaming up against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way. Two more first round matchups to come following tonight. And then we're off to the races to the semifinals and off to the races to October the 16th. The Real Crown Women's Tag Team Champions. Sonya Deville in there. Io Shirai gets the tag. And then we got two fresh competitors in the middle of the ring in this contest. And Io Shirai lethal with her feet as well. And that's what makes Io and Zia Lee, excuse me, such a tremendous pairing. Strikers who know how to take it to the, take it to the sky, excuse me. Sonya Deville trying to make sure the momentum does not shift back into the opposite corner. And as these two women go at it, we mentioned her a moment ago, but the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, the current WWE Women's Champion, retaining her championship this past Saturday night at Judgment Day in a triple threat matchup against Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. And Asuka really running through the women's division over the last couple of months. Wins over those two women. A win over Bianca Blair and Shotzi in a triple threat match back at Extreme Rules. She retained the championship over Casey Catanzaro as well. You gotta wonder with the big time Survivor Series pay-per-view coming up, who is gonna be next to step up to the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka? All will tell in due time as the road to October the 16th continues on tonight and continues on these next number of weeks as we are on the road to Survivor Series. Big time move from Io Shirai there, taking Shayna Baszler down. Io with the kick, could be looking for the final nail in the coffin of this contest. Double arm, no, Shayna Baszler countering. Io Shirai able to muscle up Baszler there, but I don't think she had her full grip. I think the stronger competitor in Shayna Baszler was able to muscle her way, use her weight to kind of muscle out of Io Shirai's maneuver into that Frankensider. Taking Io down momentarily. Now the Queen of Spades back in this contest, flipping her over, and a knee right to the head. Shayna elects not to go for the cover there. Instead, get a tag in Sonya Deville. Io tags in Xia Lee. Who's going to get the momentum as Xia Lee charges at her with that flying knee? She's looked for that maneuver a couple of times throughout this contest. But that time, she finally hit it. Zaya whipping Sonya off into opposing corner. Nice forearm there. Now Zaya Lee is heading to the top rope. Coming out, goes for a double knee drop, but Sonya Deville rolling out of harm's way. Sonya Deville avoiding disaster there, at least at the very last second, and now unloading on Zaya Lee. Zaya's day, Sonya's gotta take advantage. Look at this, the strikes from Sonya Deville. A lethal striker inside of that squared circle. We may be looking at the end of this contest in moments. If Sonya Deville keeps up the offense like this, it could be a knockout or a submission victory for Sonya Deville and Shayna Baszler here tonight. Zaya Lee trying to make sure that this does not happen. Trying to counter there. Sonya now back into the momentum and just muscling Zaya Lee down to the canvas. Oh no, oh no, we mentioned submission. We mentioned submission. Oh, Sonya Deville not watching her ring awareness there and it may have just tossed her. She went for the triangle choke. The rope break broke up the submission hold. Now Sonya, you, you see the sense of urgency coming out of her right now. May just fell into that knee drop. Wild strikes did not land. Zia Lee sending Sonya Deville into the opposing corner. Now sending her to the top rope. Oh no, what has Zia Lee got in mind? Could be looking, look at this. Elevated DDT for the top. 
and follows it up with that spinning kick to the back of the neck. And that could be all she wrote for this Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament first round match, but Baszler in to break it up. The referee's gotta be careful if things don't start breaking down here. Baszler's in there with Io Shirai. Meanwhile, Zia Lee's trying to stay focused on Sonya Deville. Shayna taking care of Io. Wait a minute, Zia Lee taking care of Sonya Deville. And then we're back to Zia Lee and Sonya Deville in this contest. Io and Shayna Baszler down on the outside. Sonya's down in the ring, Zia Lee. From the top with the knee. And will that do it? Or are they moving on to the semifinals? They are not just yet. Sonya is still in this matchup somehow, some way. These women fight with everything they got and a spinning kick again. This time to the jawline of Sonya Deville. And somehow, Sonya still gets the shoulder up in this contest. And the crowd here tonight appreciating the tag team wrestling that is happening before their very eyes. We saw this on Monday night. It's continuing here. The women inside of the ring leaving it all they have just for the opportunity to become the women's tag team champions at Survivor Series. Zaya Lee threw her best shots. It wasn't enough. She tags in Io Shirai. Maybe Io Shirai's got something in mind that'll aid her in this contest. Sonya's down, Io Shirai. Sonya one on the outside, Io Shirai bringing the fight to her. Sonya trying to avoid, dis avoid disaster. Wait a minute, Io Shirai headed up to the top rope. We know this woman isn't afraid to fly. She does it best in the women's division. Coming for the top, Hurricane Rana. What a beautiful maneuver. Like no other. In the women's division, Io Shirai takes it to the sky. Oh, wait a minute, she's not done. Springboard, moonsault on Sonya Deville on the outside. Io Shirai leaving it all on the line here tonight. If you didn't appreciate and respect these women before, you certainly will after this contest. Io Springboard, drop kick takes out Sonya Deville. But I don't think she realized that Shayna Baszler is now the legal woman. Oh, wait a minute. Io Shirai with the counter. Able to knock down Shayna Baszler. Meanwhile, Sonya Deville is out. This has kind of turned into a handicap match into hindsight, if you will, for at least for a moment. Oh, wait a minute. Shirai was looking for this earlier. Double arm. Shayna Baszler eats the canvas. Is that going to do it? But... Again, we've seen that multiple times in this contest. These women not watching their ring awareness. Another rope break in the middle of this first round matchup. Baszler's down, Io moves up from the top like no other. And no, Baszler survives. Baszler survives for another moment in this tag team championship tournament. Man, I don't know how these women are still competing at this level. At these deep waters in this matchup, but it's all through the drive and the will and for the opportunity, as we mentioned, to become the Women's Tag Team Champions on Sunday night, October the 16th at Survivor Series. And Shayna in the corner, Io Shirai, elbow to the opposing woman. Now Shirai's going back up to the top, could be looking for that picture-perfect moonsault for the second or third time in this matchup. And that is going to do it. All four women fought long and fought hard. But from bell to bell, there could only be one winner. And the two ladies advancing to the semifinals, that goes to Io Shirai and Zia Lee. What a performance here tonight on your Thursday night edition of WWE Main Event. We now know the first semifinal matchup of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. Io Shirai and Zia Lee moving on to fight Bailey and Dakota Kai on the road to Survivor Series.
Well, this coming Monday Night on Raw, Dominic Mysterio with a huge opportunity as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Blackheart, the new Intercontinental Champion, Tommaso Ciampa, one-on-one. -on -one. And in the main event this coming Monday night, the WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar Edge, set for a matchup against the returning glorious Robert Roode. How will Roode fare in his first match back on Raw? And how will Edge fare in his first match since winning the WWE Championship this past Saturday night? It is time for your main event here on your Thursday night edition of WWE Main Event. And it's a championship affair to see who will be atop the cruiserweight division. This young man, Wesley, has been impressive ever since making his main roster debut. A former NXT Tag Team Champion teamed up with the cruiserweight champion Ricochet last week here on Main Event. And the two men were able to topple Alpha Academy Chad Gable and Otis. But it was that matchup where Wesley got the win, pinning Otis inside the squared circle. And because of that pinfall and because of that victory, Wesley has been rewarded a Cruiserweight Championship opportunity here tonight. But the one and only Ricochet, Wesley's opponent, has been on top of the world ever since the month of June where he won the Cruiserweight Championship. Victories over Santos Escobar, Isaiah Scott, Chad Gable this past Saturday night is Ricochet riding a wave of momentum that can't be stopped right now or is the young high high flying fast paced spunk of Wesley going to be enough to take away the cruiserweight championship from Ricochet we're going to find out what should be a great cruiserweight clinic to witness and here is the one the only cruiserweight champion of the world, Ricochet. As we mentioned, this man has been riding the high since the middle of June where he became the number one contender for the cruiserweight championship. He took that momentum into SummerSlam on June 26th where he toppled Santos Escobar to win the gold. Ricochet went on to successfully defend the Cruiserweight Championship back on August the 7th at Extreme Rules in a ladder match against Santos Escobar as well. Just a few weeks later, right here on Main Event, Ricochet retained the championship over Isaiah Swerve Scott. And then it was this past Saturday night when Ricochet and Chad Gable opened up the Judgment Day pay-per-view with a Cruiserweight Clinic high-flying versus the mat wrestling ability of Chad Gable. But in the end, Ricochet walked away still your Cruiserweight Champion. We asked the question before, we'll ask it again. Is Ricochet riding a wave of momentum that can't be stopped right now? But is Wes Lee going to be his kryptonite? Let's find out in moments. Introducing the challenger from Dayton, Ohio. Weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes Lee! And introducing the champion from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Ricochet taking a moment to pose with the championship that may be leaving him here tonight. Ricochet hands over the gold. Wesley eyeing up the prize. The Cruiserweight Championship on the line yet again under the spotlight in the main event here on your Thursday night. Wesley, Ricochet, the Cruiserweight Championship. The stage is set. The time is now. Ring the bell. Let's get things going. This is going to be a very interesting contest. Wesley has only had a handful of matches here on the main roster. And one of those was that tag team matchup previously here on main event alongside Ricochet. Wesley made his main roster debut in an impressive contest against the Hurricane. 
about a month ago and change here on main event as well. It was in a losing effort. But Wesley's efforts in that tag team matchup, the reason he is getting a Cruiserweight Championship opportunity tonight. But Ricochet already looking to take out the opponent and sending Wesley to the outside. Ricochet is on top of the world right now. Springboard, or excuse me, corkscrew to the outside. Taking Wesley out. Ricochet doing what he does best, taking things to the air. That aerial offense of the one and only that you won't see out of any other Cruiserweight competitor. The Cruiserweight division. Full, wait a minute, Ricochet over the top rope to pick and Hilo once again, taking out Wesley. If the Cruiserweight champion isn't fired up, I don't know who and what is. You think Ricochet would be down and hurting after that matchup with Chad Gable this past Saturday night. But if anything, the adrenaline's still pumping for the Cruiserweight champion, and he's gonna use that to his advantage here tonight. I see Wesley taking Ricochet down with one of his best maneuvers in his arsenal, that tilt to whirl. Wesley's gotta fight Ricochet. He's gotta get on top of the offense now or never. This matchup just kicked off and Ricochet already taking things to the air. Wesley's got to do the same springboard. Pele kick. The maneuver that pinned Otis just last week on main event. Now Wesley again with that tilt to whirl. And I say this is one of the best moves of Wesley's arsenal because we don't see many people do it. It's hard to pull off and it's a maneuver that takes your opponent off his feet. Man, what a matchup this has already been. What are we, a minute, two minutes into this Cruiserweight Championship affair and these two men already leaving it in. Everything they have in the ring and Wesley with that miniature hurricane run and Ricochet ate the canvas, trying to go for the shooting star. A maneuver that Ricochet has in his arsenal as well. Knows it well enough to have it scouted. Wesley with the shot. A nice kick, Ricochet down on the knee again. Wesley again. With that miniature hurricane run and Ricochet eats the canvas. This time Wesley's smart enough to go right into the cover. The gold's on the line. Ricochet's Cruiserweight Championship reign survives another moment. And you see Ricochet is going for that hangman's neck breaker there. A maneuver in his arsenal that we see him pull out quite some time. Wesley had it scouted. Lee's on the top rope. Picture perfect moonsault from the challenger. And into the cover again. And Ricochet gets the shoulder off. Man, these cruiserweights out here doing what they do best, flying around this ring. And Ricochet follows up the crash and burn from Wesley with a shooting star press. You aren't going to see this kind of action in any other universe mode. Nobody has these type of action, these type of matchup, these types of story being told. Ricochet springboard moves somebody crashes and burns again. Back and forth, the momentum shifts in this cruiserweight championship main event. And Wesley with a kick to Ricochet. Lee going to the top rope. From the top, goes for the elbow and he hits it. And again, springboard. Bit of a cross body that time on the lower back of Ricochet. At some point, one of these high-risk maneuvers really going to start to play a factor in this contest. Yes, you're doing damage to your opponent, but you're also doing damage to yourself. How much longer can these guys take it to the air from bell to bell? Now Ricochet take out the knee of Wesley. German suplex into the bridge. And a rope break there, unfortunately, for the one and only. These two men have had their foot on the gas pedal since the word go. And they have not slowed down since. Wesley on the top, Ricochet counters. No, Ricochet with that recall knee. A maneuver that we normally see him hit inside the ring. A variation there on the corner. Wesley's down, Ricochet sends him into the corner again. Cruiserweight champion gets caught with the double knees, or excuse me, double feet. From the challenger right now, Wesley gonna shoot him off. Ricochet counters, back and forth we continue to go. 
In our Cruiserweight Championship main event, Springboard drop kick sends Wesley to the outside yet again in this matchup. Wesley is down, Ricochet. Looks like the one and only's wheels are spinning and dropping the axe hammer on the challenger. Man, what a matchup this has been. These two showing the prestige of the Cruiserweight Championship, a championship that has been held by many greats in this business. Rey Mysterio, Dean Malenko, Eddie Guerrero, Chris Jericho. Ricochet taking out Wesley. Off that springboard, and now Ricochet hitting the ropes, making a dose. If you smell, Moon Salt from the one and only. Is that going to do it? No, Wesley survives. Man, what a cruiserweight championship matchup. Ricochet's got to be wondering, what is it going to take to put the challenger away here tonight? And we also failed to mention Ricochet again this past Saturday night competed in a hell of a matchup versus Chad Gable at Judgment Day. Is Ricochet feeling any effects from that matchup? We noted that he must have been running off adrenaline since the opening bell. But at some point, that's going to come down. At some point, the punishment is going to start to rake up. And Wesley, I think maybe outrunning the Cruiserweight Champion here. Wesley's getting fired up here tonight on main event. Going straight into the cover, not wasting any time. Good chance for the challenger to become the Cruiserweight Champion, but Ricochet stays in this matchup. Springboard. Ricochet was out of the way. Ricochet with the elbow. Back and forth we go. The pendulum continuing to swing in our Cruiserweight Championship match here tonight. German into the bridge again. Ricochet this time not going for the cover. Springboard and a Phoenix splash. My God. What a matchup we are seeing right now. These two men tit for tat, high flying maneuver, back and forth in this match. I feel like we are watching a marathon sprint right now. These two gotta be making the legends of the cruiserweight division throughout the WWE, throughout WCW, throughout the entire world proud right now. Bringing even more prestige and honor to holding the goal that currently Ricochet has the rights to. Ricochet's got Wesley in a predicament, but Wesley able to battle back. Lee going for maybe a cutter or something there. Able to cut Ricochet off. And once again, Wesley going to take Ricochet for a ride with the Tilt-A-Whirl. Wesley now going to the ground. Trying to throw a little bit of everything and more at the Cruiserweight Champion to try to take the gold away from the one and only. Lee on top, Ricochet's right there to cut him off. Trying to go for a slam, Wesley counters. What a DDT for the top rope by Lee. Lee again going to the top. Ricochet not having any of it though. Oh, and a senton there to the challenger. Wesley's down, Ricochet springboard, goes for the moonsault. Doesn't catch all of it, I believe the foot, the feet, excuse me. May have caught the chest in the rib cage of Wesley. Enough to keep him down, and Ricochet follows it up with the recall knee. Signed, sealed, and delivered is another Cruiserweight Championship defense made successful by the one and only. Santos Escobar, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Alpha Academy's Chad Gable, and now Wesley added to the list. Ricochet is putting together an impressive resume of former challengers in his reign with the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ricochet! The question remains, who is going to be the one to step up to take the championship away from the one and only Ricochet? What a great night of in-ring action. This coming Monday night on Raw, it's Dominic versus Ciampa as well as Robert Roode taking on the WWE Champion Edge. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.
pace on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a rock.